I am all for all kids finding their passions, but I don't believe that all students will benefit and be able to realize their dreams. Emotional words from an educator today at the Indiana, Indiana State House as officials talk about major changes perhaps to Indiana's high school diploma requirements. And today, members of the State Board of Education did talk about plans to perhaps reinvent or maybe update those requirements for graduates. Officials say if approved, it would give students more flexibility and offer a direct path into the workforce. But Educators warn that it could make it harder for students to get into some colleges. 21 Alive reporter Taylor Williams has been following the state's progress and joins us live with more. Teachers from Fort Wayne made the trip to Indianapolis to share their concerns. They say they are worried the change will lead to a cut in certain classes and teachers being fired. I want to caution us to not throw the baby out with the bathwater a little bit because what we're doing is working. The Indiana State Board of Education is discussing a change to high school diplomas and requirements. So this is about evolution, not revolution. But it's evolution with the foot on the gas pedal. The Indiana GPS diploma, which stands for Graduates Prepare to Succeed, would replace the Core 40 diploma by October 2028. And instead of four degree options, the state would go to two. Indiana GPS would also change what students learn and when they learn it. For all students, ninth and 10th grade would focus on subjects like math, science, English, and financial literacy. Then in 11th and 12th grade, students would have more personalized and flexible schedules that would allow them to spend a portion of their day in an internship or apprenticeship or preparing for college. At this time, students would choose their path in eighth grade. I just have a hard time, you know, with a 14 or 15 year old really knowing what they want to do. Educators also express concerns to the board that some students won't have classes required to get them into some colleges. If we remove those requirements, when will they again have that opportunity to learn those courses? And with fewer classes, there is a worry there'd be fewer teachers. I'm worried about districts who maybe cut classes or teaching positions since they won't be required coursework even though colleges will require them. If approved, schools could start opting for the new diplomas in the 2025-2026 school year, with a full state rollout beginning with the class of 2029, who are currently seventh graders. This is just so much doubt right now that everybody's just like, let's hold on. And I'm one, let's hold on. I mean, I told our people, well, we'll have a Hamilton Southeastern Schools Academic Honors Diploma because 80% of our kids are going to college. The state is asking for you to share your thoughts. We have a link to the survey on our website, 21alivenews.com. A decision will be made later this year. In studio, Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.